Today on Mic Attempts, rebuilding hydraulic cylinders. One of the hydraulic cylinders for the front end loader on my Ford 860 tractor was leaking pretty bad. But while I'm at it, I might as well rebuild both of them. Start by removing the cap. Luckily, mine was only hand tight. There are tools to remove and tighten the caps, but this is a single acting cylinder, so the cap doesn't need to be super tight. There's no hydraulic pressure on the cap side. Once the cap has been removed, just pull out the rod. I was not expecting this. I assumed there'd be ring seals on the piston. Instead, there's this thick mass of black rubber. Remove the nut at the end of the rod. I used a metal bar to keep the other end from turning. Remove the piston and the small o-ring. Mine is pretty mangled. The o-ring sits in a groove at the back of the piston. There were two washers on the end, and here's a better look at the rubber packing. It turns out that this mass is just a bunch of individual fabric reinforced v-rings stacked on top of each other. Pull the bushing off the rod and slide off the cap. The rod wiper is just a standard oil seal pressed into the cap. Use a hammer to drive the blade of a flathead screwdriver under the edge of the oil seal. Then just give the handle a few taps to pop out the old seal. I took the piston to my local hydraulic shop and they had exactly what I needed. I'm sure I could have saved money ordering the seals online, but I didn't know what I needed, so I didn't mind paying the local shop for their knowledge. I got new o-rings for the backs of the pistons and new packing v-rings. The new packing came with a plastic cap that fits down into the groove of the top v-ring. My old packing didn't have that piece. Now it's time to clean out the tube. It doesn't look too bad, but there's some gunk caked on the bottom. I'll be using white vinegar and copper BBs. I sealed off the hose fitting with a nitrile glove and a rubber band. Now just pour in some BBs. Add a cup or two of white vinegar, seal up the other end, and rock the tube back and forth, rotating it as you go. This cleaning method works great for metal gas cans or gas tanks too. Just use gasoline instead of white vinegar. The gunk that was at the bottom is all gone. I used some paper towels wrapped around a straightened coat hanger to dry the tube. Then sprayed the inside with a little penetrating oil. I ordered new rod wiper seals online. I found a site that helps you search for equivalent seals. I'll put a link in the description below. Squirt a little penetrating oil on the cap and then pound the seal in evenly with a rubber mallet. I used a block of wood to be sure it was fully seated. Lube everything up with hydraulic fluid and reassemble in reverse order. Slide the cap on the rod, followed by the bushing. Slide on the new o-ring, install the new packing, and slide on the piston. Be sure the o-ring is seated in the groove on the back of the piston. Put the washers on and tighten the nut. Rest the end of the tube on a wooden block while reinserting the rod. Pick up the tube and rod together, drop them down on the wooden block, 
and gravity does the rest. Screw the cap back on and repeat the process for the second cylinder. In a future video, I'll be remounting and testing the rebuilt cylinders on my tractor. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.